Hello and happy Monday to everybody. It is Monday, November 7th, and it's time for another episode of Mark's Monday Minutes in Portland Real Estate. All right, Monday, November 7th. That means tomorrow is November 8th, and it is voting day. So first reminder of the day, please vote. That's it. Go out, vote. Red, white, and blue, whatever your color, go vote. Use your voice. Express an opinion. That's our opportunity in America. So please go vote. Second, our three takeaways for this week in the week of real estate. Actually, four. We'll start with the first one. I wasn't here last week because I was on vacation, and I didn't record a video while I was out of town, so if you missed it last week, that's because I was gone. Now let's go on to the next three. First of all, the real estate market, as I've been saying it now for about six weeks running, has finally leveled off. As expected, as normal, it's plateaued. That's normal. Second of all, Portland is in fact leading the national market in a couple areas in a positive way. And third, go vote. There's your three takeaways for today. Let's dig into the numbers. All right, as of today, there are 4,252 homes on the market active in Portland for buyers to look at. This continues our downward trend that we saw five weeks ago, six weeks ago. It has just been dropping consistently since October 17th, actually, yes, October 17th is the last day it's been ticking down. This is normal. This is what happens every year at this time. The number of new listings this week, 474, also just holding steady. Now, of these, we have pending numbers of 401 homes going pending, all right? And again, this is consistent. We've been bouncing between 386 up to 468, so sitting in 401 is, once again, that plateau, that leveling off. Sold in the last seven days, 370 homes. Okay, this is going down. This is where we're still sitting in the mid threes, mid upper threes. Again, plateaued, no big change. The number of homes with a price adjustment in the last seven days, 1,335. That puts us at a percentage of 31.3 of the current homes on the market have had a price reduction, price adjustment, but really a price reduction. Consistent. With compared to national numbers, price adjustments, we're at sitting at that 31.3. We've been bouncing between 31 and 32 consistently for several months, actually. Nationally, we're at 43%, 43.2, in fact. So again, we're right in that nice neutral. We're better than national, although there's a slight difference in the metrics. They're looking at every price reduction, any property with since the day it was listed versus here in the, my list, I'm only looking in the last 45 days because I think that's how far back buyers are looking. So slight difference in the statistics. The number of sold homes in the last 30 days, 1,775. Out of 4,252, that gives us a monthly supply of about two point, almost 2.4 months worth of inventory. Just a few, two months ago, we were down still in the 1%, ticked up to two. Now we're sitting at two and 2.4. This is normal. We're gonna sit at two and a half months of inventory clearly for the balance of this year. Maybe tick up, but I don't see any new inventory. So I think we're gonna sit solidly at this two and a half percent for the remainder of this year. And then we'll see what happens in the spring. Now, the number of four car garage homes in the, north, in the listing right now, 123 on the market of which 35 are under a million dollars. That's right, that characteristic gesture for the homes under a million dollars, the affordable four car garage homes, 35. Now, five new homes have come to market in the last week, one of which was in that under a million price category, five went pending, and five sold, all five, 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 all in the last week. Now, three of the ones that sold were in that under a million, one new under a million, all the rest were over a million. In the last four, let's see, in the last four, in the last 30 days, 24 homes of the four car garage have sold, 18 of which were under a million dollars. So that's saying that the affordable garage homes have been selling. For any client, any sellers who have a property over a million dollars with a four car garage, which is common, those homes are sitting on the market longer. And in fact, the market supply, the inventory for homes over a million dollars with a four car garage or larger, it's currently sitting at 5.2 months of inventory. I had to dip underneath my camera mount there to see the number. So we're seeing at five months of inventory for million dollar plus homes with a four car garage and yet under two months, 1.94 for four car garage homes under a million dollars. 
Okay, and they said, takeaways. First of all, the market has leveled off as expected. I made the comments along the way. The numbers we're seeing are just plateauing on, just starting to dip down. This is normal, it's what we see. Second of all, and well, let's actually, let's elaborate on these numbers. Nationwide, we're starting to see first drop since October in the number of available homes. What, what happened in October and the end, sorry, let's go back and rephrase that, August. At the end of August, we saw interest rates tick up above 6%. And when that happened, buyers pulled back and we saw inventory levels start to climb again. Now, it's the first time that we've seen it drop on the nationwide level. Now, here in Portland, we've been seeing it drop for three to four weeks, in fact. Maybe this suggests stronger sales. We're having more sales. And as I look at the number of pending homes per that time, we've, come, we've been sitting at that 400 point just bouncing around. Maybe it's stronger sales with less inventory. This is good. It shows that there's still interest in homes. Homes that are priced well and in good condition will sell. If you're trying to sell a home that is next to a freeway or as is and, not, and a seller is refusing to do repairs, they're probably going to start to get under asking price offers. So they better price accordingly, perhaps pricing lower with the hope of driving the market, driving the price up. Now the number of Price reductions, as I commented at the national level, we have 43.2% of homes having a price reduction at some time in their listing versus here in Portland, we're looking at 31.3% have had a price reduction in the last 45 days. We've been hovering around this 31 to 32% level in Portland since August, July. It hasn't changed. So again, nice and level. Okay, I'm almost done. But again, third point today, go vote. If you are not expressing your voice, you have no opportunity to be angry, happy, or in between in the future. Because remember, after tomorrow, please remember to be a good human to everyone around you. One third of the people around you will be angry with the results of the, inspe of the elections. One third will be happy and celebrating at the results of the inspection. And then I think there's that middle third that's gonna go, did we really get what we want? Not really sure, they don't like the extremes. Regardless, all of those people are your fellow human beings. Treat them right, respect that they've expressed an opinion. And if you don't vote, you've given up that opportunity. So please go vote. Have a wonderful week. We'll see you next week. Bye.